have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. ReviveNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. Please go to James chapter 1. James chapter 1. Let's start with uh, verse 2. James chapter 1 verse 2. Uh -huh. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. What? No, no, no. Are you sure you're reading it properly, Pastor? I believe so. I, I would prefer like a King James version so we can go deep. I'll try. Is it King James? It is King James. Okay. One more time. My brethren. <laughs> it's very deep now. It's, it's gone super deep. Okay. Count it all joy. Ah. When you fall huh. into diverse temptations. You're, you're supposed to be joyful. I thought you were supposed to beat yourself up. Hey. Why? Matthew chapter 4 verse 1. Matthew 4, 1. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. What? <laughs> what? What? Are you, are you sure it's the Holy Spirit who led him? It is the Holy Spirit. Not, not like to do shuka baba, shuka baba. Pastor, <laughs> I am not getting it. Maybe you should read it again. That's why. One more time. Then was Jesus led up of led the up Spirit. Led up by whom? The Spirit. Led up by whom? The Spirit. Into where? Into the wilderness. For what? To be tempted. By the? By the devil. And the same Jesus is saying, lead us not into. Ah. We got to, we got to solve this tonight. And the same disciple of Jesus is saying, count it all joy. You see, when Jesus is praying, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. He's not saying that you won't fall into temptation. He knows what he went through in Matthew chapter 4. So he's saying, just pray. Just pray that chapter 4 doesn't come it's better you are not led into temptation. So it's not a prayer saying, I cancel every temptation. There shall be no temptation in my, in the mighty name of... It is not such a prayer. It is saying, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. It is a request. But it does not mean that God has to answer that. How can I prove that? Because not every prayer that Jesus prayed, he prayed so he can be answered. Because there are prayers that he prayed. He said, if possible, remove this cup from me. And then he said, yeah, not my will, but yours be done. So there are prayers that he prayed, but he knew that he was not going to get answered. Hi. Yeah, I think I've given you too much already now. <laughs> so why does God still allow us to be led into temptation? That means your time for elevation is very close. When the Lord leads you temptation, there is something that happens. He's also leading you to your death. Because when Jesus is saying, lead us not into temptation, he knows, in other words, lead us not to our deaths. Because he knows the only way resurrection is possible is if he allows those temptations. And in that temptation, you die to yourself. That is the moment of resurrection. So, in other words, he's saying, Lord, don't take me there prematurely. In other words, he's saying, don't take me to that place before my time. Because there are times if you're not ready for it, you cannot pass to the next class. 
Some of you didn't fail because you you couldn't do it. You were prematurely given a test. My son is seven years old. If I give him a ten-year-old test, there's high chances that he may fail that. Not because he is not smart. not because he is not intelligent it is because he was given a test prematurely yeah. my god the what you don't understand is matthew 4 when jesus was tempted he was also dying to his self yes because right around 11 12 verse it says that then Jesus came out in the power of the Holy Spirit. There is something that happens to a child of God that passes the test of your temptation. And the only way you can pass the temptation is allowing the you to die there is a part of you that does not respond to that temptation like the way it used to respond before is a part of you that used to desire something but when you die to yourself now the temptation can stand before you and you don't have desire for it anymore there's a part of you that is why jesus said if you desire to follow me pick up your cross once in a week is that what it said daily that means you have to die daily that means daily you're about to go from glory to glory to victory to victory hallelujah so look at the neighbor and say So if the Lord allows the temptation it is not a bad thing. But can you look at the viper? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The problem is when temptation comes to you and you don't look at the viper you're like oh the Lord has given me freedom. <laughs> and you start hugging all that that wood in your hands. and you don't locate the wiper inside and you become a victim of your ignorance i'm telling you the spirit of the lord is teaching somebody you don't need to feel bad about your bad but you are going to learn how to kill it the problem with christianity is we have practiced how to feel bad about the bad but we have not learned to be real with it we have not learned to kill it now we are left with religion we have a facade of righteousness kambro lo romaniata i free you tonight i set your spirit free in the name of jesus then he says count it all joy when you fall into one temptation how many of you know ministry is a temptation huh some of you are like i have no issues i'm i'm, I'm holy no sometimes your ministry can be a temptation self self now you don't love jesus you just love ministry that is where all the vipers hide that is where your anger and disappointment is so all the vipers are jumping out because fire of correction came and you didn't know vipers were hiding inside may your vipers that are hiding be exposed in jesus name this one is going to help you longer than other ones 
This word tonight is going to take you a long way. <laughs> Listen. Don't allow the vipers to be exposed to the world. You catch it in your house. Huh? Take a sharp knife. Chop off his head. He should never come back into your home. <laughs> tonight we're going to get to work tonight. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, before you go to sleep you need to ask why am I like this? Why am I like this? Why am I like this? I spiritualize it. I make it look like oh I love Jesus, but why am I like this? So why does God allow you to go into temptation so you can locate the viper? Because there are parts of you that you don't know is broken. There are parts of you that you don't know is broken and is killing you right now. And you hit it so you don't know you're dying. So God says, I have to I love you. I have to in fact lead you into that place. So you can see if there is any part that still requires dying. Is there any part? Is there still pride left? You have to look at it. Go on, man of God. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith trying of so i thought he was talking about falling into temptation but then now he's saying it is the trying of your faith which is it it's the same thing so every time the lord allows you to be tempted he's also allowing your faith to be tested so now when your faith passes the test it becomes incredibly powerful Go on. Knowing this that the trying of your faith uh-huh. worketh patience. What is it working? Patience. What is it working? Patience. Ah. <laughs> uh, the root of all things, eh? You know love is a product of patience. So oh, it's such a wrong idea about love. You're watching too many movies so. <laughs> I want him to do this. I want <laughs> Me, I'm still in your same house. <laughs> That's love. <laughs> you understanding what I'm saying? People are like not understanding. Hey, the way you have been treating your husband should have left long ago. But the fact that he didn't leave and is still there with you was love. But you're still upset that he forgot your birthday. Because you reduced your love to him remembering a date. Because of the trauma of your heart. Because growing up somebody didn't remember your birthday. So now your husband remembering your birthday is everything. as a viper inside your wood can you heal how much will you blame your husband when the problem is not him is the trauma inside your heart tell of god can you look in the viper's tonight the patience to his way the patience to his way the patience to his way Ah, we want what we want when we want it. No. No, say no to your flesh. Say no to your flesh. Talk to me. Say no to your flesh. Ah, ah, you really want to buy something, postpone it. 
they really love that chicken beef fry chili whatever eat it the last 10 person don't touch it say bye bye say you have no power over me keep two pieces aside and say my flesh wants you but i say bye to you you really like that donut buy it bring it home and throw it in the garbage You think it's about donut but you don't understand your spirit is getting strong. If you can have self control in this area you will have self control in other areas. What is it doing man of god what is patience doing what is patience doing what is patience doing but let patience have but her let let patience ha huh. have her perfect work. Hey patience is perfecting you. let her have her perfect work meaning please don't stop her while she's working on you look look at the neighbor help me preach because they are staring at me listen tell them let patience finish her job come on tell her tell her tell yay hey, hey don't abort her don't tell her i don't need you anymore get out of the room don't don't stop her let her finish the work your husband is driving you crazy let him finish is well. you so what is the difference between you and him he was screaming you also is screaming what what you both look alike now let patience complete his work let patience complete his work don't stop patience let patience never god is about to release some gifts and anointing and 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 high impact as i'm talking i feel the fire of god mambrese kebe you are about to go to the next level you are about to come out of the wilderness with great power says the lord don't stop patience from finishing her perfect work let her perfect her work are you understanding don't interrupt patience let her finish let her perfect work let her have her perfect work let her have a perfect work don't interrupt it don't interrupt it don't interrupt don't let your flesh interrupt her let her perfect her work kamba no zataya don't 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 rush into your destiny don't rush into your destiny oh god is calling me to this place don't just pack your bags and jump and leave no calm down calm down because there are lessons you are learning in this season that you cannot learn in the next season Amen. sit down let patience finish her work let patience finish her work there are things that you can learn in the season you can never learn in the next season in fact the next season you're going to hurt and cry and swallow in pain if you don't learn the lessons it is this season's lessons that will protect you in your next season don't rush the work that god is doing inside your soul let your soul be healed let patience finish her work we got to learn this we got to understand this there is a grace you can access without anybody having to lay hands on you if you will allow this patience to do her work merembre koza barababa why is it that you say that two times i was quiet but third time i lost it why did you quit patience from having her work perfected in your life let patience finish her work father we receive the grace we receive the grace we receive the grace lanza mama 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 open your mouth and say i receive the grace 
Patience shall perfect me. Please, if you can read. But let patience have her perfect work. Uh -huh. That you may be perfect. And whoa, 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 How can you rush that? How can you rush that? Ay, 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 ay. Ah, 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 ah. I thought if we can go to the, the correct church and get the right pastor and if he can pour the right amount of oil on my head, and if I can roll three times on the floor, I can come back feeling perfect. Yes. <laughs> if only you could do the chicken dance and become perfect. It doesn't work like that. You have to die every day. You have to allow patience to finish her job. When the Lord says, be ye perfect as I am perfect. He's telling you the way to do it is I will allow you to fall again and again into very strange and diverse temptations. Not to destroy you, not to kill you, but so that you can learn to pass that test. So that when you pass the test, you become perfect and perfect. Be perfect and and entire. Did you hear that? <laughs> Give me another word for entire. Can I, can I tell you something? Do you know there's only one person that is 100% whole? That is Jesus. And the Bible is saying, you can now become. Whole, 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 whole. In other words, Satan is like, you need this bread. Ah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. You can't use this as a bait. You can't use it. Oh, you, you definitely need this money. No, nope, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Giving is going to become a lifestyle. Because whatever the devil is now convincing you that you need to be whole. You're going to tell the devil, I don't need this to be whole. I don't need this material in my life to be whole. I am whole without it. I don't need to be in a relationship to be felt whole. I don't need a boyfriend to complete me. I am complete with Jesus. I don't need this. You cannot bait me with this anymore. And psychologists will tell you, everything that you are addicted to today is rooted in a certain trauma that maybe you don't even remember. But tonight, the word of the Lord is coming to your soul. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't say spirit. Ah, I didn't say the word of the Lord is coming to your spirit. It's coming to somebody's soul tonight. It is locating the place that your counselor could not locate. It is locating the place that your husband could not locate. It is a locating a place that your wife could not help. And I prophesy to you, you shall be made. Hello, I'm Tini Matthew. We are so glad that you could join us on this broadcast. You know, the Bible says that the Word is the one that was created out of nothing. And the Lord spoke and made everything out of it. If that's the case, then the word has come to you. That means this week you're going to see breakthrough that will manifest out of nothing. Are you ready for it? I'm so looking forward to celebrate this good news with you. The good news is that you can be part of this platform through our online medium. Visit us on revivenations.tv to sign up and we will send you a link to our online services. Go forward with this great faith. God bless you and Shalom. 
Many of us love Jesus by our words, Facebook posts and scripture quotes. But when God wanted to show us how much he loved us, he gave up his only begotten son. He is not looking for part-time Christians nor a portion of surrender or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because he gave us everything. Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 